He'd want this smoke. My control right here. And we didn't even get to smash. Oh! And the future, not with you though, because I'm about to kill your ass. That's not complicated. It's simple math. You got a boyfriend, you stay with your boyfriend, you don't go and kiss another guy on the bench and get him drunk. Help me! Help me! Simps! It's not always a bad thing to be a simp. In this case, today, I'm gonna teach you how to stay simp, but still, Get the girl, or the guy, or the dog. Stay simping and never pimping. That's the motto. Ask Drake. Hello, home dogs. This is Sunpai. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing part two, Leo, of being a dick. Where did we leave off last time? So, Sunny Boy was trying to get the J town he was trying to go to v town he was trying to get the v. the v i promise susan it's a peace sign he met this beautiful sensational looking woman at work and decided that he just he just had to mm, you know however he was a bit shy he hasn't spoken to her for quite a long time and he decided to make the move he took her for a ride on his bicycle <laughs> and i suppose that was a kind of date he didn't kiss her they just said bye it was very wholesome it was beautiful i, I really enjoyed it however when he went back to the shop where they both worked, she decided that she wanted to go on a date with him. So she said to him, oh my God, it's your last day in town. You're going to college, Sonny. Let's meet up tonight. So we're at the stage where we're getting ready for the date, making sure our armpits don't smell like corn chips and ass. Let's get back to part two of the gameplay. If you missed the gameplay, I, I, I'm very offended. It was, I thought, I thought I did a good job with the voice acting. Jake from Wales certainly enjoyed it. So make sure you head to the description to check out part one of the story because you're missing the main subs. Here we go. Sounds like Green Day. Okay, here is Sonny's dad watching him prepare for his date, which is quite strange. We need to go to his bedroom. Which one is it? Is it left or is it right? Dad, I did a really good job renovating the bathroom. Sonny, why are you working in the shop if you can make this magic happen? We're having a shower. He is washing his things very thoroughly, I do hope. I can't wait to meet Josie tonight. I wonder what she'll say. She's gonna say, hey, dude, we got a smash. You're in love with me? Are you high? <laughs> Sad. You're really hurting my feelings right now. Um, okay, I gotta go. I have my control right here. And we didn't even get to smash. You're in love with me? Oh! Oh! <laughs> what is this game? I don't even know if I can describe what's happening. But I will put this on my Patreon, okay? Uncensored. Uh. Well, <laughs> why don't you me right here then? Josie, I am not that type of guy. I want to play Smash, but not that kind of Smash. Put, put it away. Put it away. I've been a naughty girl. Son, are you almost done yet? No, Dad, I'm too busy touching my tentacle over Josie right now. <gasps> yes, yes, Dad, I'm coming. Shit, I'm almost done, Dad. Okay, sure you are, Sonny. Well, there goes that moment. Yes, this is the kind of stuff that can happen when you live with your parents. I'm sorry, Sonny. It's time to get dressed for the date. Okay, Sonny, I see you trying to impress in that red top. <laughs> Keep going, Glen Coco. We are now arriving at Josie's house. I wonder what Josie has planned for us. Sonny, fix up. 
He's doing the opposite of simping right now. I thought he was gonna be the simping soldier. You know, simp god. But he's not even planned that even for the date. Saturday night, a Saturday night. Starry sky, simping up high. Can't get the guy. The guy. Trace is a girl. Anyway, I want to make a move on her. Hey, Sunny! <laughs> she's not even chained. She's wearing the same clothes, except she's super brown. Hi, Josie. Were you too scared to ring the doorbell or what? <laughs> Sorry, I thought we were supposed to meet out here. <laughs> it's okay, you pussy. Scoot forward and I can make place for my... Scoot forward and I'll make place for my cute... Josie! Who says that? Flirt with her, don't push your lock. Listen, I'm teaching you how to be the sim gods. You need to flirt with her in any way you can. Tell her the freckles on her butt look beautiful. She likes that. I think you meant cute, sexy butt. Okay, Sonny. Good try. Sonny, really? <laughs> you sound like Steve. Ah, oh, shit. Sorry, Sonny, I tried. Where am I taking us? Just a bit further. You see that road right over there? Go that way. I think that's a dead end. Trust me, it's the right way. Ooh, she's taking me to a dead end. You know what that means? She's gonna kill me. Here we are. Talk, check her out. Don't push your log. Right, I feel like I'm Sim got in and she was annoyed before so we need to not push the look because she's already offended and said I was like Steve so don't push your look. This is a pretty cool place. Yes, this is my little sanctuary. I take all my victims here. <laughs> I never see anyone come here before. Yes, Josie, it's because when they come there you murder them. No one ever leaves. I found this place when I was running and I got lost. Since then, I come here once in a while to think. What do you think about? Oh, Sonny, that's a stupid, stupid answer. I, you know, life and the future. Not with you though, because I'm about to kill your ass. Come, sit with me. I'm gonna try and let you do the talking for once in a while. This, this is awkward. Don't be like Josie. I'll just blubber on about my butt. Did you like working at the mini mart this summer? It was all right, pay was decent. I guess you're gonna need it if you're going to be an R. Sure, but I'm taking a student loan just like most students, aren't you? No, of course not. I'm so privileged and my dad has saved up for my tuition. Did your parents do the same? My mom passed away shortly after I was born. So it's just been me and my dad. <gasps> Don't worry, you couldn't have known that. I know, but she was still pretty insensitive to be like, didn't your parents save up for you? Does she think that everyone is rich and is made in this little perfect bubble and look like they've walked straight out of Brazers or the Playboy Mansion? Takes very good care of me, but no, he can't afford my college tuition. But it doesn't matter. I love my dad. He taught me everything I know. Well, mostly men stuff like carpentry and martial arts. <laughs> men stuff? to you. I know someone would hate you for saying that. Man stuff. He'd want this smoke. A woman know about that too, you know. Sorry. Ah! <gasps> ah! I hate myself. I have to have a little laughing break then. I didn't mean it like that, of course. Women know about it. All I'm saying is my dad teaches me stuff he knows and often that's nature. Of nature. The man stuff nature? Sorry, I didn't know how to describe it differently. I try and teach stuff to myself too. For instance, I've been playing guitar since I was 12 years old. Oh, I'd love to hear you play for me sometime. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Never bit, we're gonna bit and play. So you know a lot about car carpentry and martial arts then? <laughs> no, I didn't mean that I knew about it. But I guess it could be fun to take some self-defense self class or something. Hey. I can teach you. Really? I want you to kick my ass. Stand up. We can start small. <laughs> okay. Put your hands up like this. Uh-huh. Now strike with the left hand and palm against mine. Oh. <laughs> Are you okay? Uh -huh. Sorry. I slipped. Did I hurt you? Uh -huh. No. I'm fine. I'm a man. This isn't the best place to teach you this. Let's sit down again instead. Say cheese. Uh-huh, okay. Cheese. <laughs> Thanks. I 
can send it you later. But now, I got something pretty nice. Ta-da! Ta-da! Oh wow, you got booze? Yup, I told you I wanted to celebrate with you. Where did you even get this? I swept it from my dad's cabinet. Let me guess, you're hoping you'll blame your brother for it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Here, have a sip. <laughs> That's some strong stuff. <laughs> it's nice of you to do this to me, Josie. I really appreciate it. I really wish we did this back when we started. Working together or not during your last weekend here. Yeah, me too. I'm starting to get kind of tipsy over here. We should have brought some soda to mix the vodka with. Uh-huh. You're so cute. You lightweight bitch. Uh-huh. Did I say something? Ah, okay. Wow, she's really hugging me tightly. This feels like Thor. This feels like Thanos. This feels like Josie. <laughs> That's that wonderful smell of strawberries again. That's it, Sonny. It's now or never. Do it for the simps. Do it for the simp. Do it for a simp, Sonny. You gotta do it. I'm just gonna put it out there. Josie? Yeah? I know this may sound a bit weird, but I just have to say it. This summer, working with you has been really awesome. Even though I haven't really shown it, I've had a crush on you since the start of summer. You have? Yeah. I just wanted to tell you so I don't regret it later. Sunny, that's so sweet. Oh, yeah. Hold on, sound effects. They're getting it on. Mr. Lover Lover. Simp God strikes. We are winning over here. Get a little bit of a close up. Sorry, hold on. Okay, she's a titty. That would sound like this. I've been wanting to do that for so long, Josie. Sonny, I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have done that. What, why? I'm already in a relationship. I've spent two days of my life trying to get with this girl and now she's about to tell me after I've bloop her boob and touched her lips with mine, she's got a boyfriend. She decides to tell me this after we make out, after we flirt. Did she not think that was relevant beforehand, before she got me drunk and tried to lure me into the sack? You're what? I'm oh, sorry. It's complicated. It's actually not complicated, Josie. You've got a boyfriend. That's not complicated. It's simple math. You've got a boyfriend. You stay with your boyfriend. You don't go and kiss another guy on the bench and get him drunk. It's not complicated. I didn't mean for this to happen. No, I just tripped, fell and landed on the Eminem lyric. If you know, you know. But you're so, you're so, I had a crush on you too. Well, really? Sonny, no. No, 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 no. The don't, it's a trap. It's a trap. That's great. Sonny, no. It's not great, Sonny. It's all in this, I'm cheating. I didn't know how cheating was until after I cheated. Fuck, I gotta go. Please take me home. Are you cold? Yes, Sonny. She's cold. She's a cold hearted batata. Just a, just a tad. Well, she, you are half naked, Josie. It's nine o'clock at night, Josie, and you've not got a jacket. Here, even tighter than she did before. I can't believe this is happening. Nothing's happening, Sonny. Nothing's happening. She's got a man. Somebody gonna get pictures on each other, but we still can't be together. She's so unhappy in a relationship to do something like this. Maybe it's for the best, though. I'm leaving for college, and she's likely staying here. Even so, this hurts. It hurts real bad. At least, at least I don't have to ever regret telling her how I feel. Oh, she, she looks real sad. I'm real sad, but I don't care. Boo hoo, Josie looks sad, no one cares. Thanks for the night, Josie. I guess this is where we say, 
Farewell. Farewell? You're still coming back to visit, right? So what happened and all? Maybe it's just best to leave it like this. Okay. Well, what about your sweatshirt? She's that type of girl that goes out with a guy, takes his t-shirt and sells it on eBay for twice the price. You can keep it. The house is right there. She just needs to take the t-shirt off and give it him back. But no, Josie just takes and she takes and she takes and she takes. Farewell then. Fuck. This doesn't feel very good. This huge pain in my chest. Go away already! Sonny is a true simp god. I'll give him that. Stay simping. Sonny! Ah! Wait! It's goodbye! Do you understand me? Goodbye! Not farewell. Goodbye! 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 It is! Goodbye! It is! I feel like this would be the perfect moment for it to break out in a high school musical type musical. Ah. Oh. That was sad. She's in a relationship. I should have known. She's way too perfect to be simple, single. Why did she lead me on though? Because she a hug. She's been so forward with me, hugging me, kissing my cheek. I feel like such an idiot. Not farewell. What am I supposed to do with that? Am I supposed to cling to hope? Maybe I should just distance myself. Anyway, I'm going to college. How much more can I distance myself from her? I'm going away. Her boyfriend is not. Fuck, I need to find a way to get over her. You know how to do it. Sonny's going to college, right? We're going to college in part three. So what's he going to do in part three? He's going to get that Susan. So here we are, the first day of college. I'm going to leave it here because I feel like it's going to get super exciting and super saucy for part three, if you want a part three. I honestly love this game. Hopefully Susan hasn't demonetized me. But if she has, and you guys want to support me, check out my Patreon. In a few weeks, we have got a very exciting cosplay going on. We have videos, we have quality content. And I'm not just one of those people that who have Patreon and don't do anything on there. I do stuff, I do things, I do bits. If not, I really appreciate the likes, the, the, the dislikes, and the subscription, you know, the subscribe thing. So just show your love in any way possible because it really helps the lovely comments you guys leave me. I love them. Deep in my heart, I enjoy the nice comments reading through what you guys have to say when you say that I light up your day, that also lights on my day. So I want to thank you wholeheartedly for being so nice to me all the time and also accepting the new name, Sunbai. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed it, again, leave a like, and we can't leave without the mmm, do do do, cyber hugs. Mmm. See you guys in the next video. Au revoir.